the World Center of Racing, the legendary Daytona International Speedway. Hi, everybody. Ralph Shaheen and Jeff Emig here with you for one of the most unique rounds of Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Jeff, what makes this place so special? Yes, Ralph, it is definitely full of atmosphere. Winning here means having your name engraved in the history of motorcycle racing forever. We are just moments away from the start. Who will be crowned a Daytona champion? He is one of the top riders in Monster Energy Supercross. Listen to the roar as he enters the stadium. All right, what's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back here once again in Monster Energy Supercross 2. We're going to jump right into this one here at Daytona. The riders are in the gates. The roar of the engines is deafening. Time for the gate drop. All right, time for the gate drop indeed. So welcome back, everybody. Eddie Soundhead here. We're back at Daytona here. We're going to get underway here right now. The gate drops on our best gate leave ever but you know what could have been worse let's see can we get some around the outside and not quite no whole shot for us today but uh could have been a worse star we're up in about sixth or so or well actually we're making some pretty good ground now so in the top five right there off the start not bad not bad for basically not qualifying and through the wet sand of course it had to be raining uh which i guess is pretty fitting for daytona being florida weather and all i mean if you guys know we're all nascar people mostly uh, should be used to rain in, in Daytona by now, but uh, make for a good, an interesting super. I guess maybe I shouldn't say good, but maybe it'll make for an interesting supercross race here. Uh, so I haven't run here uh, on Daytona on this Daytona course yet uh, in this game. As we go flying by a couple of them right there, got some nice spots up into third. And uh, yeah, I haven't run this course at all, which is why I probably look like a complete idiot uh, when it comes to the rhythms and whatnot. But I uh, haven't run this one at all, and then to compound that, it's raining, which is just going to make things even more complicated. Uh, back through a lot of okay, a lot of sand being used in this course. All right, got a turn right here. So who's leading in front of J Jason Anderson and Blake Baggett leading us? We are in. Uh, we're driving as Justin Marcia, Marcia, however you say that. I would assume Marcia probably, but uh, ooh, not our best corner there. And oh, having a horrible whoop section. Come on now, that's just ugly. But uh, yeah, I want to use a Yamaha rider for uh, for this episode because I like I like me a good Yamaha. I like their bikes. I don't know, maybe that's just my allegiance to the color blue. I don't know, but we're riding it. It looks cool. I like it, and uh, the scores is pretty pretty cool. So you know, that's uh, that's Daytona for you. Like I said uh, last year when we played the first uh, Supercross Monterey Supercross game, uh, I started off at Daytona saying that it was one of my favorite courses to uh, watch. I usually try to watch uh, Daytona specifically out of the season uh, of the Supercross races because it's just pretty cool. Uh, like I said, most of us being from a NASCAR background, um, it's kind of cool just to see something different at Daytona than the usual stock cars or, and what have you. So uh, very much fun to watch. Uh, and I'm not even sure, unfortunately, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to watch this year because uh, I'm going to be in Detroit, um, you know, when it's on, I don't know if I'll be around a TV or not, if the TV will have uh, NBCSN either, you know, it's hard to say. So, I guess it all depends on how things go, because I'll literally, I'll be at a Monster Jam show uh, when the Daytona Supercross is probably starting. So, hopefully it times out well, maybe I can get back to a hotel or something before it starts, but who knows. Just I definitely want to have a good time. Though it was uh, J Jason Anderson. I want to keep calling him Jordan Anderson, like the, the truck series driver, but uh, not quite. Can't quite get it to you there. So uh, fall back to third on that. Bam. Oh, come on. I didn't cut. Got an automatic reset right there. I guess we barely cut a course. I don't know. That kind of That's kind of fishy. I don't think I cut that course game. I'm taking you to court. We'll see. We'll see who cut a course and who didn't. All right. We got a little bit of time to make up now. Cause this one's actually going pretty fast right here. So uh, I know last time we did a we did our Atlanta race uh, last week. I said that we would do some kind of career mode or championship mode maybe uh, in this game. And I still plan on doing that. Uh, I just haven't really got around to starting it because I don't know how in depth it is. Um, I've I've been doing some thinking on it. I'll probably do I'll probably take a championship like season mode over uh, like a full career mode, uh, just because I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to dedicate to this game. Uh, but I thought a championship mode would be fun. Uh, kind of like what we're doing with NASCAR E3. Uh, basically, where you just kind of follow the season along, although the season's already 
like over, like halfway over. Um, but we could try to catch up, uh, just have some fun with it, or just go at our own pace. Doesn't matter to us. Doesn't matter to me. It's kind of up to you guys what you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's definitely the plan still. I figured since Daytona was the race, I'd just do a standalone race here because uh, I just love this course so much. And uh, we're back up into so oh, man, hitting the tough blocks here. We got to hunt down this leader here. Blake Baggett is uh, doing a pretty good job of holding it out front right now. And this rain, I tell you what, this rain is throwing me a bit of a wild card. Like I said, I don't know if it selects the, uh, the, the weather automatically or what, but um, it is what it is. I mean, it's cool. I like that uh, that it's got different weather variables in. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Of course, uh, if you guys remember back to last year, if you were still if you were around back then, um, we uh, we did a video here uh, in Monster Energy Supercross, like I said earlier, and uh, it was uh, it was me talking and basically professing my love for Monster Energy Supercross at Daytona or just any kind of Supercross at Daytona, um, and how I always single this race out, which I'm pretty sure I already said, but. Uh, yeah, we did a race here last year. That's what kicked it all off. And now we're back here again. And one of the things I talked about in that video was how um, one of my favorite Daytona races ever was a race that was actually in the rain. It was, I believe it was 2008. Um, Chad Reed just blew up. <laughs> he just blew up right at the end. And uh, I forget who it was now, but uh, somebody passed him and uh, took the win from him at the last second there. Um, just That was just fun to watch back in the day on Speed Channel. Hashtag F. Poor Speed Channel. Gotta miss the Speed Channel, man. But, uh, NBCSN has kind of, like, become the, uh, like, honorary Speed Channel over the past year or so. I don't know if we're ringing this guy in or not. I don't know. Blake's kind of... He's just holding it out there in front of me. I Maybe mean, as soon as I said that, it looks a little bit like we're, we're reeling him in, but... Uh, we're down to four minutes left in this race. Uh, so we gotta try and pick up the pace here. We might have a little bit on him here. Nice little run through the sand there. All right. Okay, we definitely reeled him in now. So I, maybe if I talked a little bit less, I'd be able to catch these guys. I think I said that last episode too. But uh, as long as we get this guy reeled into a point where I think I can kind of cut him off on a corner or something, we'll probably be all right. So just got to get those rhythms right, man. And I'm not doing so great right now at them. Not getting the best landings ever, but just got to make our way through this one here to the finish line again. So, uh, he's pulled away from us a bit there, too, from that section, just because of how bad it was. So, we need to focus on getting these landings down right. That was actually not some bad landings right there. Not the best exit, but it's all right. Now, we're sliding it through the sand right there. Sand sliding it. Getting it through here. We reeled him in again there. So we're fast. We seem to be faster through the sand than he is, at least. We got that going for us. This, these jumps are just weird right here. I don't... I don't know what these are all about. Can I kind of cut them a little bit here? Uh, a little bit, and then I screwed my whip section up. That's nice. This is great looking. All right. Well, we don't seem to have any kind of competition from second. They're uh, pretty well behind us here, but I don't know if I'll be able to run down first. This is getting kind of hilarious at this point. Come here, sir. I need to pass you. Come here, please, and thank you. Oh, we got a sand section. Come on. Let me cut them off. Uh, I hit him. <laughs> I hit him. He's going to punch me in the head after the race, as he should. Maybe he'll do a Daniel Suarez on me and take me down and throw me on the ground like I saw that earlier. Uh, that was pretty interesting, isn't it? Oh, he got a weird landing into that corner right there. Oh, he had a bad entry. We are in the lead, boys. Hot damn diggity dog. We are in the lead. Who would have thought you'd see the day? Can I hold on to it is the question, though, because this is, this is a section where I've been struggling at, and that is not the best right there. That was kind of ugly. We made it through. Hey, we led a lap. How about that? So, uh, third is 10 seconds behind, so it's literally just a battle between me and, uh, well, second now. And uh, with only less than two minutes left to go in this thing, is we got a sand section here. Let's pull away a little bit if we can. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, ugly little corner exit there, but, you know, we'll have that sometimes. We're just going to keep it out front now. All right, so uh, yeah, just definitely turned into a battle here for uh, first and second in the rain. Oh, he tried to cut me. You couldn't do it though, could you? Nah, you gotta have the skill and talent that I have to be able to do that, and nobody has that amount of skill and talent. J.K. Literally, just about everybody has that amount of skill and talent because I suck. But I'm out here giving it my all, and uh, trying is better than not trying at all. So there you go. There's your life lesson for the video. Sand section. 
Let's go. We're coming up on a minute left. And it's actually pretty close because we meet him. Nice little jump right there. Just gotta hold it in the ruts and stuff. I don't I don't know what the terminology is perfectly, but I know some of it. I know some of it. You don't want to get in the really deep ones, but you want to get in the ones that are warmed up just enough. Oh, bad landing, bad landing, bad landing. That gives up the lead. That's what I did not need. Uh, so we'll probably have about... Well, we'll come to the line. The clock will run out as we're on this lap. So we'll be going to two to go uh, roughly on this lap. So we got to get in here in gear and try to get back up to Blake. Try to make this bad. We got a sand section here. Can we try and undercut him? Can I get close enough to him? Oh, crap. I just dropped my controller. Oh, my God. They got it freaking paused for me. That could have been tragic right there. All right. Uh, <laughs> reset. All right, I'm, I'm letting the nerves get to me. I just, I just dropped my controller physically. Like, how, how do you... What kind of scrub does that? That's actually stupid, but... All right. We can't let it get to us. We got to try and reel him in. We're right here on him. Oh, I'm cutting that corner close, man, and we gotta be careful. I don't want to get automatic reset again. That would just about kill us right now, but we're pretty close to him. Can I cut him underneath in this corner right here? Oh, he fell! Oh, we knocked him over. We just we just straight up daddied him. We just GTA'd Blake Baggett. Oh, but he got back up. We got such a bad run through the sand because of that, though, that he got right back up, and he's right back on my tail now. That's just great. That's neat. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. We just, we, we straight up knocked him over. We, we were just like, oh god, and then I do terrible, and oh, here we go. This is where I lose. This is where I lose right here, coming to the white flag. Because like, oh my god, he's just run away from me. How did he get such a run through there? God dang it, why can't I just be good for once? Oh, this has gone all bad. This has just gone terribly wrong. Come on. We gotta try and reel him in now, and he's, oh my god, he's pulled away five seconds on me. I swear if I just gave this friggin' thing away. Which I probably did, because I don't know how I'm gonna reel him in five seconds in one lap, on the last lap, unless he like royally just kills himself. I don't I don't know what else we could manage to do. Other than just run a clean race. Although he's running real slow. What are you doing, sir? Oh he fell again! Oh my god, he fell again. I was gonna try and undercut him and he died. Holy crap, did I call that or what? Talk about a choke! Oh, what a choke that was. Oh my god, we're in the lead, too. I was going to undercut him anyway, and he was like, oh, yeet, right off the bike. What a scrub. I thought I was the scrub. I thought I was the one choking it over here. This guy just throws his head right in the dirt. Through the sand for the final time. Well, I, I don't know if that's the final one or not. We might have another sand section coming up somewhere else on the track. I've already forgotten the layout. Ow. Horrible landing right there. Come on, we got to get ourselves another win here. Back to back wins. Especially on my first attempt at Daytona in the rain. Come on, we gotta make it happen right here. We need a good section. This is not a good, this, this has gone bad. This is not a good section right here. All right, come on. We need a clean run to the finish. The finish is in sight, almost fell off the bike. Come on, he's got, oh, he's closing in on me. Look my, oh, he's not even close. And we get the victory. He was very close actually, <laughs> but we get the victory nonetheless. Right on. That was an incredible main event. As the results come up on the screen, showing how they raced across the finish line jump, with a few surprises in the finishing order of this one. Well, there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it. That's more Supercross in the books. Our first win at Daytona in the rain. Uh, not our easiest one. We had to knock Blake off his bike, and then he fell off his bike on his own, and that's what gift wrapped us the win there. So, hey, I'll take it. A win is a win. That was nine laps, dude. It was a nice and decent sized race. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!